Welcome back today. We're talking about seven tools that can help you understand the vulnerabilities of Instagram and how to protect your own account. Now, before we get started, I want to be clear. This video is for educational purposes only. We're going to be exploring some powerful tools, and it's crucial that you use them responsibly and ethically. Always respect people's privacy and never use these tools for malicious purposes. With that said, let's get into it. We're going to break down each tool, show you how it works, and talk about its strengths and limitations. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how to use Termux for ethical hacking on Instagram. Next up, we delve into InstaShell, a command line tool designed specifically for Instagram hacking. While it might sound intimidating, InstaShell brings a level of sophistication and control that is unparalleled. This tool leverages the power of the command line interface, CLI, to execute brute force attacks, similar to Hydra, but with a unique twist. InstaShell is built for those who are comfortable navigating the CLI and want to get their hands dirty with the nitty-gritty of ethical hacking. It provides a direct, no-frills approach to testing Instagram account security. The beauty of InstaShell lies in its simplicity and effectiveness. It doesn't come with a flashy interface or a long list of bells and whistles. Instead, it focuses on delivering precise, targeted attacks, allowing you to see how resilient your Instagram password truly is. Using InstaShell, you can specify your target username and a custom password list, much like with Hydra. However, the command line interface allows for greater customization and flexibility. You can script your own attack patterns, integrate InstaShell with other tools, and automate various aspects of the hacking process. This level of control is invaluable for cybersecurity professionals who need to tailor their approach to specific scenarios. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. InstaShell, like all the tools we discuss, should only be used for ethical purposes. Test your own accounts or those for which you have explicit permission, to understand the vulnerabilities and strengthen your security measures. Never use these tools to target others without consent. Ethical hacking is about learning and improving, not causing harm. We'll include a link to the InstaShell repository in the description below, along with a step-by-step -step guide on how to set it up and use it responsibly. This guide will walk you through the installation process, basic commands, and best practices for ethical hacking, by following these guidelines, you can harness the power of InstaShell to enhance your cybersecurity skills and protect your digital presence. Stay with us as we explore more formidable tools in the realm of ethical hacking. Up next, we'll introduce you to Instainsane, a multi-threaded menace that takes brute force attacks to the next level. Now, let's turn our focus to SocialBox, a versatile and powerful brute forcing tool designed for multiple social media platforms. Unlike InstaShell, which is specialized for Instagram, SocialBox can be used to test the security of accounts on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and even Gmail. This multi-platform capability makes SocialBox a favorite among ethical hackers who need a comprehensive tool to test various accounts. SocialBox operates through the command line interface, much like InstaShell and Hydra. This means that it offers a high degree of control and flexibility, allowing you to tailor your brute force attacks to specific scenarios. The tool is designed to be user-friendly, with straightforward commands that make it accessible even to those who are new to ethical hacking. One of the standout features of SocialBox is its ability to handle multiple platforms seamlessly. You can switch between targeting a Facebook account to an Instagram account with just a few tweaks in your command. This multi-platform support is incredibly valuable for anyone looking to understand the security landscape across different social media platforms. To use SocialBox, you simply need to specify the target platform, username, and your custom password list. The tool will then initiate a brute force attack, attempting various password combinations until it either finds the correct one or exhausts the list. This process can reveal how vulnerable an account is to brute force attacks, providing valuable insights into the strength of your passwords. However, it's crucial to remember the ethical guidelines we've discussed. SocialBox, like all the tools we mentioned, should only be used for testing accounts that you own or have explicit permission to test. Unauthorized use of these tools is illegal and unethical. Always prioritize consent and legality in your hacking endeavors. We'll provide a link to the SocialBox repository in the description below, along with a comprehensive guide on how to set it up and use it responsibly. This guide will cover installation, basic commands, and best practices for ethical hacking. 
By following these guidelines, you can leverage the power of SocialBox to enhance your cybersecurity skills and protect your digital assets. Stay tuned as we continue our journey through the realm of ethical hacking tools. Up next, we'll introduce you to Hydra, the brute force beast that has set the standard for password cracking tools. First up, we have Hydra, a true powerhouse in the world of penetration testing. This tool is renowned for its ability to break through even the toughest security measures. Hydra is all about brute force, meaning it tries different password combinations until it cracks the code. This method, while seemingly straightforward, is incredibly effective. Now you might be thinking brute force isn't that a bit old school? Isn't there a more sophisticated way to do this? And yeah, it can be. The concept of brute force attacks has been around for decades, but Hydra is anything but outdated. It has evolved with the times, incorporating modern techniques and optimizations. It supports a wide range of protocols, meaning it can be used to test the security of websites, servers, and yes, even Instagram accounts. This versatility makes it a favorite among cybersecurity professionals. But here's the thing about Hydra. It's not just about blindly throwing passwords at a wall. It's about strategy and precision. You can customize Hydra to target specific usernames, use password lists tailored to common patterns, and even set time delays between attempts to avoid detection. This level of customization is what sets Hydra apart from other tools. It's like having a Swiss army knife of brute forcing tools. And when used ethically, it can be incredibly valuable for identifying weak points in your security. Think of it as a multifunctional tool that adapts to your needs. For example, you can use Hydra to test the strength of your own Instagram password. This can give you a real-world understanding of your account's security. By running it against your own account, with caution and within ethical boundaries, you can see firsthand how long it would take to crack your password and whether you need to step up your security game. This practical application can be eye-opening. Remember, a strong, unique password is your first line of defense against any brute force attack. It's crucial to create passwords that are difficult to guess. Hydra just helps you see how strong that defense really is. It provides a tangible measure of your password's resilience. We'll put some resources in the description below so you can learn more about Hydra and how to use it responsibly. These resources will guide you through the best practices and ethical considerations. But for now, let's move on to our next tool. Stay tuned for more insights into the world of cybersecurity. Next up is Insteinsane, a shell script built specifically for Instagram. Now, while Hydra is a more general purpose tool, Insteinsane is laser focused on one thing, brute forcing Instagram accounts, and it does it with speed. Insteinsane uses multi-threading, meaning it can try multiple password combinations simultaneously. This makes it significantly faster than traditional brute force methods, especially when you're working with large password lists, but speed isn't everything. Insteinsane also boasts some pretty nifty features, like proxy support to mask your IP address and user agent spoofing to make your requests look more legitimate. Now before you go thinking this is some kind of magic bullet for hacking Instagram accounts, let me stop you right there. Instagram has robust security measures in place, and brute forcing, even with a tool like Insteinsane, is unlikely to get you very far. However, as an ethical hacker or security enthusiast, Instain Sane can be a valuable tool for understanding the mechanics of brute force attacks and the importance of strong, unique passwords. By simulating an attack in a controlled environment, you can gain insights into how these attacks work and what you can do to protect yourself. Just remember, always use this tool responsibly and ethically. We'll be back after a quick break. Now let's talk about Social Fish, a tool that takes a different approach to ethical hacking. Unlike traditional methods that rely on brute force attacks or exploiting software vulnerabilities, Social Fish focuses on the human element of cybersecurity. Instead of brute force, Social Fish is all about phishing. Phishing is a technique where attackers create fake websites or emails to trick people into giving up their personal information, like usernames and passwords. You know those fake login pages that try to trick you into giving up your credentials? They look almost identical to the real thing, making it easy for unsuspecting users to fall for the trap. Yeah, Social Fish helps you create those, but for educational purposes, of course. It's, it's designed to help cybersecurity professionals and educators demonstrate the risks of phishing in a controlled environment. The idea here isn't to steal anyone's information, but to understand how phishing works and how easily people can fall victim to it. By using Social Fish, you can teach others about the importance of being vigilant online. Social Fish is surprisingly easy to use. 
Its user-friendly interface allows even those with minimal technical skills to set up a phishing campaign quickly. It comes with pre-built templates for various websites, including Instagram. These templates are designed to look as realistic as possible, making them effective for training purposes. You can customize these templates to create convincing-looking login pages that can fool even the most tech-savvy users. This customization feature is crucial for simulating real-world phishing attacks. But Social Fish doesn't stop there. It also provides detailed analytics and logs all the credentials entered on the fake login page. It also logs all the credentials entered on the fake login page, giving you valuable insights into how successful your phishing campaign could be in a real-world scenario. This data can be used to improve your security measures. Now I know what you're thinking. Isn't creating fake login pages illegal? And yes, it absolutely can be if used maliciously. And yes, it absolutely can be. That's why it's essential to use social fish responsibly and within the bounds of the law. That's why it's crucial to use social fish only for ethical hacking purposes, such as testing your own security awareness or demonstrating the dangers of phishing to others. Always ensure you have permission before conducting any phishing simulations. Never use this tool to trick people into giving up their real login information. Misusing social fish can lead to severe legal consequences. That's crossing the line from ethical hacking to illegal activity. Always stay on the right side of the law and use these tools to promote better cybersecurity practices. We'll be right back with more tools after this quick message. Stay tuned for more insights into the world of ethical hacking. All right, let's talk about Termux Instagram, a script that automates certain Instagram interactions. Now, I want to be upfront. This tool walks a fine line. While it can be used for ethical hacking, it can also be misused. Termux Instagram can automate tasks like liking, commenting, and following, which might sound harmless enough. But when used unethically, these actions can be scaled up to manipulate engagement or even spam other users. However, from an ethical hacking perspective, Termux Instagram can be used to understand how bots and automated scripts interact with Instagram. By analyzing its code and observing its behavior, you can gain insights into how these scripts work and how they can be used maliciously. This knowledge is invaluable for developing countermeasures and protecting yourself from bot-driven attacks. For example, by understanding how Termux Instagram automates follows, you can better identify and report suspicious activity on your own account. But again, I can't stress this enough. Use this tool responsibly. Don't use it to spam other users or manipulate engagement. Your goal should always be to learn and improve security, not to cause harm or disrupt the platform. Last but not least, we have Nmap, a network mapping tool that's essential for any ethical hacker. This tool is like a Swiss Army knife for network administrators and security professionals. Think of Nmap as a digital cartographer creating a detailed map of your network. It's not just about seeing what's connected, it's about understanding the intricate web of devices and connections. It scans your network for active devices, open ports, and even the operating systems running on those devices. This level of detail is crucial for anyone looking to secure their network. This information is crucial for understanding your attack surface and identifying potential vulnerabilities. Knowing what's out there is the first step in defending against potential threats. Now you might be wondering, what does network mapping have to do with Instagram hacking? The answer lies in the reconnaissance phase of any hacking attempt. Well, while Nmap itself won't hack into Instagram accounts, it's an essential tool for reconnaissance. Gathering information is key before any attack can be planned or executed. Before you can even think about exploiting vulnerabilities, you need to know what you're dealing with. This is where Nmap shines, providing a comprehensive overview of the network landscape. Nmap gives you that crucial information. It's like having a blueprint of a building before you decide where to place your security cameras. For example, let's say you're testing the security of your home network. You might think you know all the devices connected, but Nmap can reveal hidden surprises. Nmap can scan your network and identify all the devices connected to it, including your phone, tablet, and even those smart devices you forgot about. Laptop, smart TV, and even your smart refrigerator. It's amazing how many devices we have connected these days. It can tell you what ports are open on each device, giving you a clear picture of potential entry points for an attacker. This is invaluable for preemptively closing those doors. This information is invaluable for securing your network and protecting your devices from unauthorized access. It's like having a security guard who knows every nook and cranny of the building. Nmap is a powerful tool with a wide range of applications. 
from network inventory to managing service upgrade schedules. And we've only scratched the surface here. Its capabilities extend far beyond what we've discussed. I highly encourage you to explore its capabilities further and learn how to use it responsibly. The more you know, the better you can protect your network. That's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. We've covered seven powerful Termux tools for ethical Instagram hacking. Hydra, Instainsane, Social Fish, Social Box, InstaShell, Termux Instagram, and Nmap. Remember, these tools are incredibly powerful and can be misused. Always use them responsibly and ethically. Your goal should always be to learn, improve security, and protect yourself and others. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech tutorials. And as always, stay curious, stay ethical, and happy hacking. See you in the next video.